Welcome to this short vinyasa flow practice. Make sure that you are comfortable in a seated position of your choice. And when you are ready, then close your eyes and start to arrive here on your mats. And see if you can directly focus your attention inwards. We're so turned outwards all the time but try to feel your body really from the inside, what's going on inside of you. And if you want to give the mind something to focus on, let that be your breath. Feel how the body starts to surrender to the seated position. Shoulders soft. The spine being upright. And the breath becomes more calm and steady as we sit here. And make the breath a little more active. And with the out breath, engaging the abdomen. Very subtle. And then open your eyes. Feel another inhale and exhale. Then interlock your fingers behind you, pushing the knuckles of the hands down and rolling the shoulder blades more back to open up the muscles in the chest. While you feel the breath here, the in-breath. And on the exhale, see if you can hinge a little bit forward, keeping that spine straight. Feel how far you can go without forcing yourself, moving the arms away from the back. And on the inhale, you slowly rise and release the grip, sweeping the arms up as you inhale. Exhale, pull your hands in front of the heart. Then come on your hands and your knees. Creating a firm foundation and stepping the right leg behind you, tucking under the toes. Pressing through the heel and on the in-breath, lift up that left leg. Exhale, release. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, pull it up. Exhale, release. One more time, in. And exhale, down. Now step that right knee next to the left. Extending the left leg behind you, tucking under the toes. On the in-breath, lifting up the opposite leg. Exhale down. Inhale, pull it up. Exhale to release. In up. Exhale down. In up again. Exhale to release. Bringing the knees back together. And step that right foot forward, walking the left leg down to stretch the quads. Now walk your hands a little more to the, to the left and feel a stretch on the inside of the right leg as well. Maybe you want to gently ease that right knee away by pushing with the right hand. Just a gentle stretch here. Keep pressing to the left hand so you're not hanging into the shoulder. 
Opening up the chest, maybe taking the gaze up to the sky, to the sides. And breathe and step back, extending that leg and lowering the knee down. Now step that left foot in between your hands, walking the right leg a little further back to stretch the top of the right leg and the inside of the left. If you want to walk your hands more to the right, feel free if that is beneficial for that stretch, maybe easing that left knee away with the left hand. And take the gaze up if you feel like doing that. Keep pressing to the right hand. Breathing in. And on the exhale, put your hand back on the mat and bringing the knees back together, stretching the leg up and release the knee down. Lower the sitting bones down towards the heels. And on the in breath, you slowly rise like a wave, making a transition to cobra, lowering the sitting bones down. And on the in breath, opening up the chest. Exhale, chin to the chest, navel to the spine, and find your child pose again. As soon as the inhalation starts, you rise and like a wave, you come back up, rounding the spine. Exhale, lower the sitting, uh, sorry, the hips down and on the in breath, open up the chest. Exhale, reverse the movement. Sitting bones towards the heels. Now tuck under the toes. And on the next inhalation, maybe you wanna lift up those knees from the mat as well. Starting to shift your weight forward. Exhale, lowering the hips down to plank and on the in breath. Open up the chest, take the gaze up. Exhale, reversing the movement. Find your way back to downward dog. And again, inhale, slowly start to make this transition, rounding the spine, lowering the hips down on the exhale. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, chin to the chest, navel to the spine. Come back to downward facing dog. Extend the left leg up behind you. And then step that foot in between your hands. On the in breath, pull up the left fist close to the ribs. See if you can stack your shoulder blades vertically on top of each other. Looking down on the inhalation, you rise, making a fist out of the right hand and lowering that neck back knee down in the direction of the mat, not on the mat. As you inhale, make a transition to warrior two. Circle that left arm in front of you, the right arm behind you, flipping the left palm, breathing in. And on the exhale, windmill that right hand down on the mat and finding your twist. Pressing the right hand into the mat and opening up the left shoulder. Breathe in. And as you exhale, lower the hand back down. Left foot meets the right, downward facing dog. Inhale, extend the right leg up in the air. On the exhale, step the foot in between your hands. Make a fist out of the right hand and on the in breath, pull that fist up to the ribs, stacking the shoulder blades on top of each other, looking down, waiting for the inhalation and strongly rise, lowering that left shin down towards the mat. Breathing in and out. As you inhale, transition to warrior two, reaching the right arm forward, flipping that palm. Strong legs, breathing in. And on the exhale, windmill that back hand all the way forward, that it land next to the foot, turning on the toes and the ball of the back foot. And open up the right shoulder, breathe in. And out, lower the hand down, step it back, plank position. 
Bending the arms and slowly on the in-breath, rolling forward to Cobra or Upward Dog. As you exhale, press up to Downward Dog. On the in-breath, lengthen the spine, maybe alternating the heels, whatever feels okay. Then become still, breathing in. And on the exhale, lower the both knees down in the direction of the mat, so the shins are parallel to the floor. Exhale, press back up. Feel the in-breath. Exhale, lower down. And press back up. And lower the knees down as you exhale. In, lengthen. Now look at your hands. Step the right foot in between the hands. And on the inhalation, rise back up again. Extending that front leg. And reverse, peaceful warrior. Feel the stretch in the, in the left side of the torso. And deep in breath. And on the exhale, we're coming back up and windmill the arms down. So the left hand is going to find the mat or the leg somewhere. Maybe I want to put that left hand on a block to elevate the floor and then reach the right arm up. Make sure that the hips are square. Maybe you need to step that back foot a little more forward and to the sides and twist. Lower the right hand down and step it back, downward dog, breathing in, out, step the left foot in between your hands and on the inhalation you strongly rise, straightening that front leg and then peaceful warrior, so bending back, left arm overhead, feel the stretch in the left side of the torso. As you exhale, you lower the left hand down on the mat for a triangle. Open up the, the right arm and shoulder, stagging those arms on top of each other, taking the gaze up, if possible, for the neck, breathing, and out. On the inhalation, slowly rise, and now we're going to do this twisted triangle. So reaching the right arm forward, left arm behind you, reach forward and then slowly lower down, checking if the hips are square again. If you cannot reach for the floor, elevate the floor by using a block or a book. And make sure again, feel if those hips are straight. Most of the time you need to step that right, that back foot a little more to the side and forward. The easier it is to twist. Now extend the left arm up and inhale. As you exhale, look down, step it back, downward facing dog. Now look at your hands and step the right foot in between your hands. And on the inhalation, come back up, straightening that front leg. We need to do triangle pose on this side as well. So reaching forward and lower the hand down. Maybe on the leg, but make sure you're not pressing the shin down, that you're locking the knee. Maybe you can put your hand flat on the mat. Inhale, extend the left arm up, follow the hand. And as you exhale, look down, lowering the hand down and step it back. Plank position, bending the arms. Close to the ribs, maybe the knees down. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale. Reaching the left leg up behind you. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Inhale. Inhale. Pull the fist to the ribs and rise, lower the back knee down, cycle of breath will stay, inhale straightening that leg, finding warrior two, turning in the back heel, flipping the right palm, 
On the exhale, we're gonna windmill that back hand down next to the foot. And on the in-breath, opening up the right arm. Back leg is strong, keep pressing through that heel. As you exhale, lower the hand down. Step it back to plank position. Bending the arms. Inhale, rolling forwards. Exhale, press up to downward dog. Inhale, extend the left leg up behind you. Exhale, step the foot in between your hands. Inhale, pulling the left fist to the rib, stacking the shoulder blades and rise. Right fist, lowering the back shin down towards the floor, not on it. Breathing in and out. And on the in-breath, turn in the back heel, transition to warrior two with the left palm open. Breathe in. And on the exhale, windmill that back hand all the way down next to the front foot, squaring your hips, turning on the toes and the ball of the back foot, and opening up the left arm, breathing in. And out. Another in-breath. And as you exhale, lower the hand down. And step it back. Downward dog. Walking the dog if needed. And breathing in. And out. Pressing through the hands. Inhale. Reaching the left leg, sorry, the right leg up behind you, and on the exhale, pull the knee into the belly. And now extend that leg all the way underneath the belly to the side, to the left side. Reaching the right arm up as you inhale. And on the exhale, lower the hand back down, pulling the knee back to the navel, the right knee. Reaching the leg up. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, now reach that left leg up behind you. And on the exhale, pull the knee to the abdomen and reach that leg all the way to the right, landing on the, the outside of the foot and extending the right arm open. Take a deep in-breath here. Exhale. Lower the hand down. Inhale, pull the knee to the navel. Exhale, reach the leg up. And inhale, lower the foot down. Take a deep in-breath. Step the right foot in between your hands. And on the inhale, you rise, sweeping the arms sideways up. And as you exhale, pull your hands in front of the chest and lowering the back knee down towards the mat. Pull in the navel. As you inhale, lengthen the spine and on the exhale, let's twist to the right. You can stay there or hook the elbow behind the thigh and can take the gaze down or to the side or up and maybe you want to lift up that back knee, fire up that leg. Let that leg be like an anchor. Now look down again, if that feels better for the neck. Feel the in-breath. Strong exhale. And on the inhalation, you rise and let's turn to the back of the mat. So turn in that left heel and sorry, the right heel <laughs> and square your hips again. So you're facing the back of the mat and on the in breath, reaching the arms up. Exhale, strongly pull those hands in front of the chest and lowering the back knee down. Deep in breath. Exhale, now let's twist to that front leg. Maybe look down, maybe the right elbow behind the thigh, maybe lifting up the back knee. So make this practice your own. Feel what the body needs today. And take that in-breath along the spine. 
as you exhale look down and on the in breath you slowly rise exhale lower your hands down alongside the foot and step it back vinyasa plank position with control lower your body down and on the in breath cobra or upward dog legs stay strong exhale downward facing dog the face is soft And on the inhale, extending the left leg up behind you. Exhale, step the foot in between your hands, a little closer to the left foot and make sure that you square your hips. Maybe you want to check it. Inhale, via the crown of the head coming up, straightening both legs. Interlock the fingers behind your back and take a deep in breath to open up the chest. And on the exhale from your center, you start to hinge forward, finding a stretch on the back of that front leg, taking the gaze to the front foot, or maybe if you feel comfortable to the back foot. See if you can move your arms further away from the back, keeping the shoulders soft and able to move. And breathe in. And out. On the inhalation, you slowly come up like it's in slow motion and frontally sweeping the arms all the way up exhale press the hands in front of the chest and on your heels twist to the front of the mat and again it's very important that you square your hips so maybe you need to adjust your back foot turn in that heel in an angle of 45 degrees Interlace the fingers behind you, press those knuckles down. Inhale, open up the chest, take the gaze up. And on the exhale from your center, you slowly start to bow forward. Feel the stretch at the, the, back, at the back of the front leg. Maybe you can take the gaze, the tristi to the back foot. Maybe the arms away from you, if that's okay. The shoulders can stay soft. And breathing in, out, look at the front foot if you're not there. And on the inhalation in slow motion, you come all the way up, frontally sweeping the arms up to exhale, hands in front of the chest. And we're going to shift the weight to the front foot, slowly lifting up that back leg. Press your hands firmly together. Or if you feel okay, bringing the hands to the crown of the head, interlock the fingers with the index fingers, or maybe even extending the legs. And see if with control you can step your foot back that was not really in balance. And let's do the other side. Now lifting up the right leg, core is active. Exhale, hinging forward and extending the leg behind you. Hands can stay either together or maybe you want to touch the crown of the head or even extending the arms. All is okay. Don't forget to breathe. Keep on breathing. Lower your hands down. Step back. Vinyasa. Lower the body down with control and on the inhalation, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, press up to downward dog. Walking the dog if needed. Shaking the head, chin to the chest, breathing in. And on your exhale, lower your knees down towards the floor, sitting bones towards the heels, chow pose. Lift up your arms and move them to the side and behind you. Lift up your head away from the floor, interlock the fingers, lower the forehead back down and on the inhale, lengthening the arms and as you exhale, try to press through the shins, pressing the hips up so you can roll over the crown of the head. A nice stretch for the neck, feel the in-breath, 
And on the exhale, lower the sitting bones back down towards the heels. Release the grip, sweep the arms to the side and forward, lowering the palms down on the mat. And on the in-breath, you, like a wave, come back up, navel to the spine, chin to the chest, shifting the weight forward. And on the exhale, lower the hips down. When you're ready to inhale, you open up the front body, rolling the shoulder blades a little more back. And on the exhale, reverse that movement. Child pose. Inhale, come on your hands and your knees. Keep that spine neutral. And on the inhale, sweep that right arm open. Exhale, sway the arm underneath the chest. And on the inhale, all the way back up. Exhale, thread the needle, extending the arms underneath the chest, under the left shoulder. Inhale, up. And on the next exhale, find a comfortable place for your shoulder to relax and the side of the head for a stretch on the back of your shoulder. And you can move that opposite arm more forward or keep it nearby. And there's also, also an option to stretch out the left leg to the sides. Keep your balance. Everything for the shoulder. So if this is not really doing anything more for your shoulder, maybe you want to keep those knees together. Maybe even lifting up the left leg and letting it rest on your back. Or finding that right thigh and breathe in and out lower your left hand down and pressure hand into the mat and slowly lifting up that right shoulder finding tabletop again with stable foundation and on the inhale lift up the left arm Exhale, sweep it underneath the right shoulder. Inhale to open. Exhale, twisting that thoracic spine. Inhale back up. Exhale. Reach it to the sides and lower the shoulder down on the mat. Find a spot for your head to rest on and maybe Extending the right leg to the sides. Right arm on the back. And maybe reaching for the left thigh. And stay for a moment here. And inhale. And exhale. Another in breath. And as you exhale, plant your hands firmly on the mats. On the inhale, lift up the shoulder away from the mat, finding tabletop again. And from tabletop, cross your ankles, sit behind your ankles and roll yourself down on the mat. And see if you can do that with control, using the abdomen to slowly roll down. And bend your knees. And put your hands behind your head and extending the left leg. Breathing in. And on the exhale, lift the shoulders away from the mat and twist that right elbow to the left knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lift up and twist. Inhale to lengthen, exhale coming up, inhale release, exhale up again, inhale down, exhale now keep that leg long, extend it and the arm and twist, inhale release, exhale again up a little further, inhale down, exhale again up, twist, Inhale to release, exhale, come up, inhale down, and again, twist, and release. 
step the foot back on the mat. And now we're gonna do the other side. Make sure that the abdomen is engaged, hands behind your head, extend the, the right leg. Take a deep in-breath. Exhale, roll the shoulder blades away from the spine and twist to the right. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, twist. Take it slow. Inhale to release. Exhale, twist. Inhale, release. Exhale. See if that elbow can touch the knee. Inhale, down. Exhale, straighten the leg and the arm and twist again. Inhale to release. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up again. Inhale to release. And one more time. Exhale up. Inhale down. Why not? One more time again. And now release your foot back on the mat. And have a moment here. Feel the shoulders resting on the mat and the lower back flat on the mat as well. Now lift up the right leg and cross it over the left and breathing into the lower back we're going to do twisted roots. So you're going to lower your legs to the left and if that right shoulder moves away from the floor that's totally fine. Let's focus on the lower part of the body now. And if the crossing of the legs is too much for the lower back then uncross the legs. Feel if you want to turn your head to the right or it naturally goes to the left. Allow that to be as it is, as it wants to be, as long as the neck is relaxed. And surrender the weight of your body to the floor, to the mats. Then engage the abdomen again as you exhale. And on the in-breath, carefully lifting up those knees on crossing the legs. And first make sure the spine is neutral. And then cross your left leg over the right. And then slowly start to drop your legs to the right. If that left shoulder comes off the mat, that's totally fine. We want to emphasize the lower part of the body now. And always adjust, you know, if you feel that this stretching is too much in the lower back, this twisting, then uncross your legs. And soften your face and allowing the head to go wherever it wants to go. And just surrender here in this twist and let this twist do the work. And when you are ready for the exhale, pull in the abdomen. So on the inhalation with control, you can lift up your legs away from the floor and uncross your legs. Step the foot back on the mat and slowly extend your heels towards the corners of the mat if that is okay with you. Relaxing your arms to the sides. If the lower back is not that comfortable here, you maybe want to support your thighs or something underneath your head. Feel if the shoulders are not being pulled up to the ears, but make them heavy, flat as well. And then surrender to whatever is here in this moment.
and slowly return back to this place. Take a deep in-breath and allowing your belly to round, the ribs expand in the chest. And as you exhale, feel your body and as it is resting here on this mat. And then connect with your body again by moving your fingers and your toes. Maybe you want to pull in those knees and sway a little bit from side to side. And turn on the right side of the body. Stay for another moment here. And slowly start to press your torso away from the mat. Let your head be the last thing you are lifting up. So let your head just hang. Come to a seated position and the last thing is gonna be your neck on top of the spine. Feel what the practice awakens in you. And feel how you are breathing now. Relax your arms to the sides. And on the inhalation, sweeping the arms sideways up. And then on the exhalation, touch your forehead. Touch your heart. Touch your belly. Namaste. Thank you for practicing together.